previously now, on Water Your Soil. To go about paying off your balance in full, you can either pay off whatever you spend. Like, let's say you go and you spend $100, then you'll pay off that $100 almost immediately. I have some subscribers who do it. I don't do it that way, but there are people out here, a, a lot of people actually, who do it that way. That's not something that I subscribe to and I actually do. I'm going to tell you my way as well. My way is keeping my spending down on the card. Let's say I have a $5,000. Hey, what's going on out there? I'd like to welcome every single one of you to Water Your Soil. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five dangerous lies when it comes to FICO credit scores. There are a lot of myths out there. Yeah, there is a lot of information regarding FICO credit scores and how to increase your FICO credit score. However, there is also a lot of misinformation out there. And this information has been tripping people up over the years. And people come to me and they say some of the things that they've been learning, the misinformation. And I'm like, where did you hear that at? You know, so I always tell people, and this is for everyone who's watching, whether it's my videos, any other videos on YouTube, any other information on social media or information from anywhere, always verify the information with multiple sources. Make sure not only are those sources are direct sources, but make sure that you can verify with more than one source. I always tell people to try to verify with one of the three major credit bureaus when it comes to FICO credit scores. When it comes to credit cards, I always tell people to verify with the credit card company. Those are the direct sources and that's who you should verify information with. What we're doing on YouTube is strictly just passing on information, but it's up to you to verify the information. You don't want to just take people's word just because they look like they know what they're talking about or they got a nice shiny car or a nice shiny house or whatever it is that attracted you to their information. You always want to verify the information that you come across. And this is not just with FICO credit scores and credit cards. This is with anything in life. Make sure you verify the information with multiple sources. Now getting into the video, these lies are not going to be listed in order of importance. I'm just listing five of them. So I don't want you to think that they're listed in that order because they're not. So the first one that we're going to start off with is dispute letters. You know, I talked about this multiple times on this channel, but for some reason, some people just don't get it. A lot of people think that FICO credit scoring basically comes down to dispute letters. If you look across social media, you'll see when people talk about credit repair or increasing your FICO credit score, most of the information they're passing on and regurgitating is in regard to credit report dispute letters. And you know, dispute letters are cool if the information that's on your credit report is incorrect, then yeah, you should use dispute letters. So I don't have a knock against dispute letters. However, it's misleading to tell people that dispute letters are all they need in order to increase their FICO credit score or to learn about FICO credit scores. It's much more to FICO credit scores and your credit report than just removing disputes because at the end of the day, there are a lot of people out here who do have a poor or a fair credit score and they don't have any negative items in collections. They strictly don't have enough accounts or they're not managing their active accounts correctly. So the whole dispute letter thing isn't really going to help them too much. So it's not good to mislead people and have them thinking that dispute letters are all that's necessary in order for them to increase their FICO credit score is so much more to that. And that's why I'm making this video. So that's number one, dispute letters. Number two, all FICO credit scores are earned the same. And I have had this conversation multiple times on this channel with my subscribers. I'm going to continue to drill it into them. Honestly, I know it may sound like I'm a broken record, but every credit report is not the same. So therefore, every credit score is not earned the same. You can have two credit scores, both of them being a 702 and you have two different credit reports. And there's a high possibility, not a small possibility, but a high possibility that both of those credit reports are not identical. They either have different types of accounts on there, different age of accounts, a different mixture of accounts. There is something I guarantee you there is usually something 
on those two credit reports that's different from the other one. However, you notice they both have the same credit score and that's how credit scoring works. And that's why I'm not really a big fan of when people say, hey, you can increase your credit score by 60 points by doing this, or you can increase your credit score by 100 points by doing this. Credit scores are a case by case thing. So telling someone that they can increase their score by a certain amount if they do this is misleading. And it's a lie because every credit report is different. What works for one credit report is probably not going to work for the other. Are there things like basic principles that will work? Yes. But will that lead to a specific credit score is highly unlikely because, as I stated, it's case by case. Every credit report is different and every 700 or 800 credit score is earned differently. As I stated, yes, the principles are the same, meaning you have to pay on time. You have to manage your accounts correctly. Your utilization is important. So making sure you keep your utilization low, you have to have a mixture of accounts. That's important as well. There are so many things that's important and that play into a FICO credit score. I always tell my subscribers about the five important categories that go into your FICO credit score. And I tell them to pay attention to that. If you don't know what I'm referring to, I have videos on this channel on my credit card help for beginners playlist. But there are five categories that play a role in your FICO credit score. And you have to learn how to work those five categories correctly. Does that mean that Jane will have the same credit report as Jason? No, it doesn't mean that. But what that does mean is if you follow those principles, both of you, you'll start to see those changes and improvements throughout time. You may not see the same change in your credit score. However, you will notice an increase sooner than later. And that's the thing. We want to make sure that we're all looking at credit scores as a case by case thing. So don't compare yourself to the next person and say, well, you know, they did this. And their credit score increased by 30 points, but I did it and mine didn't. That's because every credit report is different. So it's set up to be that way. It's an individual case by case thing. So to tell people that all credit scores are aren't the same is not only misleading, it's also a lie. Number three is an important one for me because I oftentimes help people who are on a fixed income and they do have low income. And one of the beliefs that they believe is that you need a lot of money in order to have a good or excellent credit score. And I'm letting you know right now that is not true. That's false. That's a lie. You can have an income under twenty thousand dollars or whatever income that it is, and you can still have a good or excellent credit score. Credit scores are simply earned by managing the debt that you do have correctly. That means you're paying off your accounts on time. You're not late. You're managing your credit card utilization the correct way and keeping your utilization low. You have enough income in order to pay off whatever you spend. And I think that's the key because a lot of people have credit cards. And they just start spending heavy and that gets them in trouble. Not only do they start carrying over a balance. They usually have a high utilization because they're not chopping down on the debt that they do have on that credit card. So therefore, they'll say, hey, you need high income in order to have a good credit score. But that's not true. As long as you have enough income to pay your bills and pay them on time and make sure that you're not maxing out your credit card utilization, if you do have credit cards, then you should be able to earn a good or excellent credit score. As I stated, there are five categories that play into your FICO credit score. But if you are able to manage the accounts that you do have correctly, then you should be on your way to having a good or excellent FICO credit score, even with low income. And trust me, I've been helping people over the years with low income. So I know for a fact, a 100% fact that you can have a low or fixed income and achieve a good or excellent credit score. I know this for a fact. But that's number three. If you are someone with lower fixed income, you are not out of the good or excellent credit score race. You can accomplish it as well as the people who do have the income to go and get premium cars and things like that. So don't be discouraged. Don't feel like you're out of it because you're not. Number four is mainly misleading and a myth that's in the credit card space 
all over social media, not necessarily on YouTube, but I have saw this before on different forums and threads. I also saw it over on Instagram and it's misleading and it's also a lie that you have to have a credit card in order to have a good credit score. Now I'm gonna be transparent and honest here. I believe that credit cards are the best way to achieve a good or excellent credit score. However, just because it's the best way doesn't mean that it's the only way. As long as you have other accounts that you're managing, whether it be an auto loan, home loan, student loans, whatever those accounts are, if you have other accounts that you are managing, then you can still accomplish a good or excellent credit score. The FICO 8 credit scoring model loves to see a credit mixture. A credit mixture is a mixture of different types of accounts. So as I stated earlier, yes, having a credit card does help and it does increase your chances of having a good or excellent credit score, especially if it's paired with other accounts such as a mortgage or an auto loan or personal loans, student loans, whatever it may be, because that gives you a better account mixture. However, if you have an account mixture with other things that doesn't feature credit cards, then you still can achieve a good or excellent credit score as well. Credit mixture is important. We can't knock that. But saying if you don't have a credit card or multiple credit cards, you're not going to be able to achieve good or excellent credit. That's not true. And that's false. All right. So number five is a good one. And I know this is going to ruffle some feathers as it always does. But number five, this is my last one that I'm going to have as far as the lies that are dangerous to you all who are trying to build up and increase your FICO credit score. And this one is a little bit of common sense, but it's not really that common these days, especially with so much information going around social media and the Internet concerning this. And that's that you need credit repair in order to achieve a good or excellent credit score. That's false. You do not need credit repair in order to achieve a good or excellent credit score. In fact, I achieved an excellent credit score on my own without credit repair. I didn't need a credit repair company. And there are so many people out there who also don't need credit repair companies either. Now, I don't knock credit repair companies. If that's your hustle and that's your business, then salute to you. But I don't do credit repair, nor do I refer people to credit repair. I simply like to educate people on how the FICO credit scoring models work. I have a book for that. I have a course for that. Credit repair people may say, hey, that's along the same lines. But actually, I'm just sharing information on how people can increase their FICO credit score. So I'm not really big on credit repair. I don't refer people to credit repair companies. As I stated, I can't get in the way of their hustle and I don't knock them. But to say that you need a credit repair company in order to achieve a good or excellent credit score is false. And I'm happy that the word is starting to get around that you can do it on your own. If you don't feel like doing it on your own, then of course, go ahead and get help. However, if you want to do it on your own and you want to learn how FICO credit scoring really works, then learn as much information as possible. Not from me. You don't have to learn from me because some people think this is a pitch. Oh, you're just pitching to them because you want them to learn the information from you. No, you can learn it from anywhere you want as long as the source is valid. As I told you earlier in this video, make sure you verify the information with multiple sources. You don't have to learn from this Water Your Soil YouTube channel. If the information is valid, you can learn it anywhere, whether another channel or another source, wherever. I care about you all learning the information and the information being valid. That's what I care about. So if that's your way of going about doing it, then salute to you. I support you. But anyways, this is my five lies that are dangerous to your FICO credit score. If you're new here and you're feeling the vibe, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss a future video. Also, this goes to every single one of you watching. Be sure to hit the like button. That's your way of showing support. It lets the algorithm know that you like this video. It also circulates this video because you never know who else needs to see it. I appreciate you all for watching. I really do. This is Water Your Soil, and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. 
That way you could have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right? In the description box below, I always tell people, check out the description box below for extra resources from Water Your Soil. Part of the description box also showcases my book that I have. I have a book, it's been out for a while now, it's been out for years. It's titled, Strategies to Master Credit. The book is available, it's on Amazon, it's on Barnes & Noble, most online bookstores have the book. And the book is basically about how FICO credit scoring works. Once you understand how FICO credit scoring works, you're pretty much on your way to helping yourself build, develop, and maintain a good credit score. So check the book out whenever you get a chance.